Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the expressive upgrade. And our dupes just got back to work. It's always good. And I don't really have a I don't really have a plan this episode. I usually have a plan, but I kinda wanna put nice bathrooms in now that we got a good amount of water. Maybe take on more dupes, but I still think that's a little bit risky because our food situation is gonna be probably in trouble soon. I got this hatch farm going up here. This is actually probably overcrowded now. Yeah, I should probably extend it out here. So let's do a let's do a secondary room here. Critter drop off. Critter feeder. And grooming station. Now we only have one rancher at the moment, I think. Copy these settings. So this will be the overflow room, I think. So auto wrangle if above. Let's try seven. The beast. He's the beast is in with the beasts. Okay, don't stand in the door. Uh, let's copy these settings as well. We got one sage hatch, that's good. I wonder if I... I think I have to put sage hatch on here as well. Or he's gonna be stuck. Sage hatchling, sage hatch, there we go. Look at them all. It's like a perfect photo, perfect photo opportunity here. I'm actually going to take a screenshot here. There we go. <laughs> Look at them all freezing up here. Okay, I really got to do a thermal barrier up here. But we got space exposure right here. I could replace this later on. So, how much sandstone do we have? We have a lot of sandstone. So, let's do. They're not going to be able to build this unless they go up in here. But at least we can try to keep the cold out. We'll do that. And I should do the same thing along here. We might have to build some background buildings. And that's, uh, we don't have that yet, so let's research that. They changed the name of it, now it's drywall instead of wallpaper. I guess that makes sense. This will leave more room for critters as well. And with this number of hatches, we should be okay for coal. But we're feeding them dirt so we can get more sage hatches and then hopefully we can feed the sage hatches clay out of our filters once we have a lot of filters going. And actually I want to get some morbs going as well. But we need uh Actually, I could get the morbs going now. We just have to make sure they don't fix these toilets once they're full. We can leave one that's full, I think. But if we make it so that they can't use it, then the morbs won't form. It will just lower the priority of one of them. And hope that they don't fix that one. Okay, and I want to keep exploring. We got space here. I kind of want to get into the, some of this food here. So they can reach this now. I'd like to get in here as well. Could come across this way. Like that. Then they can come down here and back up. Like that. Then they can reach all this. Yeah, they're getting lots of sleet wheat. That's good. And I put a container down here. This is for sleet wheat. And it's in the CO2, so it should be staying fresh. And you still get massive lag. See how, see how bad the lag is? If you click on a container that has sleet wheat, it just kills the game. 
It's kind of strange. Okay, we gotta lock them out of this room. I don't want them in this room anymore. Because they're letting little bits of hydrogen out and that's getting stuck up here. Oh, this is all unreachable. Okay, we gotta go into space, I think. To be able to do this. We have to go up a level. <laughs> There's a little bit of coal up here, so this will be good. And algae. That's good. What's this in here? CO2. Should dig all this out as well. Just make sure we don't go into space or we'll lose all our oxygen. Dig that out. Might as well bring this wall up as well. Preferably in a straight line. Make this floor granite. Now I don't know if you build over a floor now whether you get the materials back. I think you do. I'll have to do a little test. After they've built, built all this, I'll do a little test and just make sure. Space exposure. Okay, we can't go out too far. Without our wallpaper. I mean, our drywall. Okay, are these guys still overcrowded? Yes, let's bring this down. Oh, the eggs are messing it up, so... Let's cook a few omelets up. Oh, I need to egg crack. I need an egg cracker first. Uh, egg cracker. Let's do that. Over here by the by the grill. Oh, stress just popped up quite a bit. Captain G and Juicy. What's wrong with Captain G? Low morale. Oh, they need a morale of 12. What job do we have them in? Captain G. Oh, what's this little thing? Oh, morale 10, rancher job expectations 12. Oh, interesting. That's a new little tidbit they put there. We're going to leave them in that stressful position until they get to seasoned rancher, then we'll back them back out, put them back in. Just regular rancher or something lower stress. We can sit on the massage table. And I might build this rec room out a little bit more. Put another... I think if you put more of these little buildings, it helps. Water cooler. I think you can have multiple of these and it helps. Do all this at six. Oh, they're freezing. This will slowly warm up once we uh, replace this floor here. At least they're leveling up. That's good. Dig that out. Make sure we don't go into space by mistake. How's the research coming? It's coming along. I kind of want to dig all this out too. This water situation is kind of messy. Maybe I'll just move all my water up to here. After they've used all this up. Let's dig a bit of this out. I know they're going to get soggy feet, but... That's the price of being a duplicate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I froze him. Get out of there. Doop down for a while. Okay, what's down here? Oh, that's what's. I forgot to build my ladder all the way over there. Yes, I know they have hypothermia. What? How many have hypothermia? More than one? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Where should we put the other medical bed? Uh. Kind of running out of room. Let's stick a medical bed right here. <laughs> That's a great place for it. And I also want to get in here. Dig this away. Actually, I don't need that ladder all the way up there. Actually, I don't need a ladder at all there. But I do want to dig this out. Speed through the night a bit. Now I have debug enabled, debug mode, which lets you cheat, but I'm not actually using it, except this super speed. I use it sometimes just because I want to get through things faster. Just through the nights, because they don't really do anything at night except sleep, so. Okay, that's all dug out. Uh... Okay, we'll use up all this water first, and then we'll move our central water tank up here. And I'll need a filter because we got polluted water in there. How are we doing for coal? Seven tons. Okay, I think coal is actually going up. Due to all these hatches, and that's good. Oh, and I gotta crack some eggs. Okay, hatchling egg to raw egg. Let's do a couple of those. And how's dirt? Because they're eating the dirt. 44 tons. We're gonna run out of dirt at some point. That's why we have to get switched over to sage hatches. No one's coming up here. Probably because it's freezing. Okay, they don't really need to be harvesting food. I'm going to make this all priority five. Maybe even four. There's just so much food now. We do have some bristle blossoms. I put these in just after the last episode. It's actually too cold in here. This is going to eat up some of our water, but I think that's okay because we got lots of water. I stress. How's Captain G doing? We want to get get Captain G through that job. Oh, it's taken a while. Actually, I don't need him. I don't. I don't need him here at all. Let's move him back to something else. Tidy. I think things are somewhat sustainable now. As long as the sleet wheat is enough. Well, they can't get in here. Because I missed one tile. There we go. Yeah, with all this sleet wheat, I think they'll be sustainable in terms of food. Uh, and water. We don't have toilets set up, so water would eventually run out, but not for a while. Actually, we're not. We're only using water for this right now. And electrolyzing. So we'd have to produce enough water in the bathrooms to produce oxygen. I don't think that's going to be enough, probably, but like really long term, if we went for like thousands of cycles, but we haven't explored the whole map yet, so maybe there's other stuff out there. Do want to see what's down here? Maybe head down as low as we can. Oh, that's space exposure right there. Go down one more tile. We could let all the CO2 out, because I have no use for it. 
But these plants actually need atmosphere, so they need pressure of 150. So we won't we we won't vent it out into space. All right, we'll get in here though. Get this good stuff. And let's head over here. See what we have. Oh, there's oh, there's a geyser here. There are geysers on this map. I wonder what this is. Oh, if that's a slush geyser. We are laughing. We've got renewable water. I didn't think there was any geysers on this map. That is a wonderful thing. And what do we have in here? Let's get in there. Let's build a bridge over there. I'm excited to see what what we have here. Okay, where should we where should we enter? I think right here is a nice little path. They can come down here. Let's dig these tiles. This. Uh oh, we got spillage. Oh, it froze immediately. Do you see that? Let's just do. Let's use sandstone. We'll go up here. It's so cold in here. It's freezing so fast. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh-oh, now it's leaking. That's not so awesome. Uh-oh. I think... Oh, we just lost some plants there. Oh, no. I think we lost some sleet wheat. Okay, I need to stop her here. Priority nine. Oh, no, we didn't lose the plant. Good. That was... Sometimes if water falls on them, they die. That would be bad. Okay, that's not diggable. Oh no, we got more leakage and now it's running over. Priority nine, stopper. And let's actually mop that up. And let's go, what do we got in here? Okay, go inside. That's weird. They scanned, but they left. Hmm. I guess because they went to go take a break. Okay, speed through the rest time. Terrible meal, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible leader. Okay, good. We got this. We got this washroom out of order. Perfect. And we got them busy doing other stuff. Maybe we'll get a morb. But where are we going to put that morb? I need a little sealed room we can stick them in. Without them freezing. Because I think they freeze at a certain temperature. I think they I think they like it where it's warm. We got to stick them in a little room that's sealed with some filters. We could do it down here. It's kind of warm. It's kind of warm over here. Hmm. Running out of spots to put things. Okay, let's come across this way. This will be our little stinky morb room. Assuming we get one. I think we'll get one. It's out of order. That'll need an airlock, because we don't want the slime lung getting out. Oh no, are we losing oxygen out of here? No, they're just breathing it. Okay. Maybe I should just open this door for now. 
repressurize this so they don't get the low oxygen warning. And we got our, let's do some more research. We got our back building, or wall, not wallpaper. What is this? Arcade cabinet. Let's try to get that. That sounds cool. Oh, we got lockers. Oh, let's inspect. That's rubbish. Maybe we can get some cold suits. This is what is in here. And we can get uh, someone on the brain machine. Warm sweater. Oh, boom. Go wear that. Yeah. It gave us the right clothing. Nice. Now he won't be so cold. Okay, who else can we give this to? Let's give it to Juicy. And when Juicy comes down here... Oh, that's not Juicy. When Juicy gets down here, we'll get them in the uh, Neural Vacillator. Come on, Juicy. Where are you? They're busy. Okay, we got one sage hatch. I think we need to be feeding him something other than dirt. Let's just see here. Sage hatch. Uh... Polluted dirt. Okay, I thought they ate clay. Maybe they don't. Fertilizer. Light slope healing. I guess they don't eat clay anymore. Hmm. Do regular hatches eat clay? Oh, regular hatches eat clay. Oh, I don't even need sage hatches. Why am I feeding them dirt? Well, I guess... I guess dirt is somewhat renewable. But I would rather feed them clay. I don't... Do I have any clay? Yeah, we got a little bit of clay. And I guess we could feed them sandstone for now. We have some, but not an unlimited amount. 198 tons. Let's copy those settings over here. Okay, we can go a little bit further here. Space exposure. Okay, let's build a drywall. Kind of in the back here. See if that works without all the oxygen flooding out. Okay, it, it was flooding out as we were doing it. That's probably not a good thing. Okay, let's replace these with tiles. I shouldn't be doing things in these, these things priority nine. That space as well. Let's do drywall all back here. Oh, I don't need it here. We're gonna put a wall there. Not much oxygen up there. Alert surface breach. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, those take a while to build. We're losing all our oxygen. That's not good. Hopefully they finish this in time here. That's kind of priority nine. Let's do that. And let's close this back up. We can't be losing all our oxygen during during that. Oh no, it's nighttime. 
No. No. Sorry. Red alert. Seal the breach. Trading stress for... For oxygen. Come on. Okay, I better turn that off before they kill themselves. Okay. Breach sealed, I think. Not too much stress out of that. They're going to be tired, though. Actually, I don't need these. What am I doing? Okay, that's all nice and warm in there now. Well, it will be warm. Once I put in... Once I replace this... Okay, let's take a look now. We got sandstone 189.6. If I replace this with this... Are we going to get our materials back? Should go up. 189.8. Yeah, it went up. Okay. So let's just do all the. Oh, actually, I want granite. It has higher decor. And we need airflow. We don't have any airflow. Stick some airflow there. There. Okay, I think things are okay. Jobs mastered. Boom the mech. Let's put him over here briefly. Just so he gets experience and then we'll bring him back. I don't even know if he needs any experience to get the trait. Let's just take a look. Skills. Uh, actually, skills. Uh, mining, mining, digging. So he's got plus two for minor, plus two for apprentice minor, plus two for seasoned minor. Now he's got no experience in it. If we put him back into apprentice minor, will he keep his skills? I think he will. He's busy though. We'll take a look once he's done done his jobs there. Okay, let's we got those out of there. Oh yeah, we want to put some on here. Who do we want to shrink? Brain shrink. Let's do uh let's do the beast. And then over here we have more space. More magma. Okay, let's get in here so they can get a little bit more food. And let's build a ladder down here. Suffocating. Oh, yeah, maybe I should uh, pay attention. Rock crusher, get out of there, get out of there. Don't tell me I killed the beast. Okay, good. He's got oxygen, he's okay.
That's temperature in here. It's getting really cold from this end. We really need the insulation on this end. Where should we put that? I could put a insulating wall along here. Yeah, I think I'll do it along here. Or we could stick it right here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Do one. We already have a ladder here, so let's just do it along here. What priority did I do that? Seven? That'll take them a while. I want to see what's out here but I have to go into space to do it and we'll have to build background drywall the whole way could take a while well it'll take a lot of materials as well oh yeah the geyser let's see what's in that geyser hypothermia geez oh yeah I'm sorry it'll be done soon should try to separate this before I, then I won't have to filter it but we do have a little bit here I could build a wall here and I build a wall here and then drain it But I think some of it might get out anyway. And we don't want them all to freeze while they do that. Oh, we got two hypothermia victims. What do we what do we get for that medical bay? Okay, less likely to spread disease. I don't think hypothermia could be spread, so that doesn't really help. What if I put a med bed in here? Recreation room. No industrial machinery. Hmm. Let's see if we can put one in there. See if they mind. Do we still have a room bonus? No. Okay. Take that back out. How are we doing for coal? Seven tons of coal. Okay, we got all the way down here. Wow, this map's pretty huge. I think it's like the same size as the regular map. But it's, uh, it's just... It's just more space. How's that water up here doing? 300 degrees. I think this will all even out, because this is slowly getting cooler. It's all turned to rock here. And this is barely warming up. I mean, the air is warm, but... We could just crack open space and let this all vent out, but we, we would lose our water. Precious water. Or we could try to drain it down first, but then we have to seal it up really quickly before the temperature spread. Naphtha? What? Where do we get naphtha? This ladder? A steel ladder. Primary element plastic. Can we just deconstruct that? No. <laughs> That's all melting in there. Okay, next piece of research. Oh, they're still doing computing. I'm curious what the arcade cabinet was is going to take. I like this wire here. Let's get rid of that.
Oh, we got our morb. We got our little morb. Okay, the little morb. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, here is one where I want it to go. Okay, food. Critter drop off. Stick that there. And... I think it's okay if I dig this out a little bit more. The water level's probably not gonna be up that high for a while. And let's put some deodorizers in there. Actually, one's enough. And then we'll stick them in there. And I should probably put a pump because I don't think they make oxygen if the pressure's too high. So I'll have to pump the oxygen out of here after it's clear, clean. I'd have to use a germ sensor plus a shutoff valve, I think. I'm gonna actually skip ahead. Well, I'm gonna let them get caught up with some stuff here. And I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm not gonna do anything anything interesting. I'm just gonna let them finish what they did. <laughs> and let them get caught up. And then I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I just realized something. We cannot ranch. We can't get this morb. Because he he can't be wrangled. And we can't make traps because we need plastic for traps. So maybe he's just going to be stuck there. And there's tiny amounts of slime lung getting out, but maybe the amount of slime lung will be okay. 420. The slime lung will die in the pure oxygen. Actually, he's letting off polluted oxygen. But, uh, hmm. He's not making a lot. We'll keep an eye on the germs. Let's just see here. There's some germs right here. Blue oxygen, 2,000 germs. 1,600. Okay, maybe we, maybe we should get rid of him. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Okay, failed experiment. Let's turn this toilet back up to priority eight. And any spare eggs up here? Are these guys still crowded? Overcrowded. Yeah, let's crack some eggs. Okay, I didn't really skip ahead much, so everything is still needs to be done. Actually, there's no projects to be done right now. Let's dig in here. And I want to be, be able to get in here. Get that. Okay, how much sleep do we have? Sleepy Queen, 692, nice. Very nice. Is that container full? Not even close. And we got 142,000 food. Nicely stocked away in the CO2. Perfect. Okay, this mealwood's not even growing, so maybe I'll... Maybe I should be feeding this with this water. Could be using hydroponics instead. That would make more sense. Oh, this water level's coming down, actually. Maybe I'll just put a pitch pump here. Pitch pump here. And eventually we'll have to put our pump in there. Maybe I'll take this one out, force them to run around, and this one will just be for, for pumping. And that way we can take out this and that. Hope they don't get hypothermia. 
So we'll use this up and then we'll drain this eventually down into here. We gotta filter this at some point. And research is done. What else can we do here? Solid transport I might use eventually. Mini pump. Let's do solid transport. That might require some plastic, I'm not sure. Okay, I actually don't need a sage hatch. I thought I did. They're not going to eat anything that we want to get rid of, so let's turn him into meat. Oh, I think Captain took some damage there. Yep. Captain, get in the bed. Okay, this room's not doing anything as, <laughs> any good for us now. But I'll just leave it for now. Okay, continue exploring. Where was that geyser? Let's see what that geyser is. I'm curious what that is. Now, I don't want to expose too much. Because it might be bad. It might be like a volcano or something. Definitely is a geyser. Okay, what is this? Gold volcano. No, I don't want a gold volcano. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not the worst thing. Actually, let's let's dig it out. I will dig it out. It'll spew out some gold. It'll be hot, but it'll get cooled down so fast that it'll actually be good. I think. I think it'll be okay. It, whoa. Boom. Confused. I kind of want to flood this all with oxygen. But it's not required. Lax tenured scientist. Okay. That's fine. We don't need to analyze it. And if it gets too hot, we can just seal it back up. Go, dupes, go. We got quite a bit of pluto oxygen in here now. Let's stick a deodorizer right there. I think we can crack another egg here. Actually, we'll let them multiply a bit more. Are they overcrowded still? Yep. Let's bring this down to five critters. I didn't make the room I didn't make the rooms the max size. But that's okay. Lots of idle dupes. Standing around doing nothing. Okay, we can't analyze this, but we'll keep an eye on it. Just make sure it doesn't kill our sleet wheat. Let's get across here. So we can get to all this delicious. Sleet wheat here. Maybe build a ladder down there. Starvation? What? <laughs> well, you better go eat. Go eat. That's the first I've ever seen them starve for no reason like that. Exposing all that food. Okay, the only thing we're gonna... Oh, what's this down here? Oh, I think that's one of those special rooms. We'll have to get out there. See what we can see. It's all space, though. 
So we'll have to build kind of those back panels. And put an airlock in there just for safety. So that we don't lose too much atmosphere. Oh, is that a geyser? No, that's just some abyss light. Okay. We'll get down there. That's all space. Oh, that's really hot abyss light. We don't want to go anywhere near that. Okay, I'll let, I'll let them kind of dig their way here because that's going to take a few minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm putting in some oxygen piping here for them. Just because they're suffocating a lot in here, so... Putting some ventilation in. So I'm just branching off my main oxygen pipe. It was kind of backing up anyway, like, look at this. There's too much oxygen in the base. So, kind of oxygenating the outside here. In fact, I'm not sure I want it right here, because then... It might make it back into this room, where our food is stored. So maybe I'll get rid of that vent and just have them in here. That auction's going to rise anyway, but... Oh, did I just... No, it's fine. Oh, I made, <laughs> I made the valve, but I'm not even using it. Okay. And I'm digging through here so they can get through a little bit faster. When they run along here. Should help a little bit the travels. And I put a sliding uh, fire pole in here for them. Oh, they're making their way over here. Oh, we can, I can see a little bit more here. We could set up a little base in here, it'd be kind of cool. Except the floor is 1300 degrees. Oh, it's a vacuum right now. The minute we let air in here, this room is gonna fry. So we're not going in there. I might push over to the side here just to see what we can see, but I'm not going in there. Let's make this door a little higher priority so they do that first. Okay. Oh, they can't even breathe this oxygen. <laughs> Let's put it in some vents so that CO2 can fall down. Space exposure. Should all make its way down to here. Pressurize. Let's dig a little trough here in case some water gets down. And let's also make some better airflow here. Same with here. Ideally my ladder would go through, but I don't wanna I don't wanna use that sleet weed up. Oh crap, space exposure, right? Oh there's space exposure right here. Uh -huh. Okay, that's bad. That could have been bad. Okay, sleep wheat. 712. Got lots of mealwood. How's our dirt situation? 39. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna uproot these ones. Oh, what's wrong here? Irrigation. 
Oh, probably because they're low priority. Yeah. I'm gonna uproot some mealwood here. Put some crystal blossoms in these last four. And uproot these as well. Because we don't want to use any more dirt. Any more than we have to. I should really use hydroponics. What, what am I doing? Let's just take these all out and use hydroponics. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll skip ahead, let them catch up a bit. Okay, we're gonna bring some water in here off our main line. So we'll branch off here, and then I'll branch off here, and then we'll go like this. And then this one will branch off here, actually, uh, hmm, it didn't go as planned. Ah, uh, we'll just do it this way. That should work. And let's get some blossoms in there. Slight upgrade to their food. That's going to eat up our water fairly quickly, because these are 20... See, 20 kilograms per cycle per plant. Hundred and twenty-three. Let's do some uh Well they didn't make the barbecue. That's weird. Oh I need pinch peppermint peppernut. Okay. I can't make anything out of the meat. Okay, uh let's do frost buns. Yeah, let's do continuous. I think I have some meat trapped in here. Meat. That's empty storage. That didn't work. Oh, they have to come do it. Okay. I didn't really get a whole lot done this episode. Just exploring, getting our food in order. This still hasn't gone off, but we were heading out here just to explore, not to actually go in here. Let's build drywall here. Actually, do we need to build drywall? Space exposure. Yeah, we probably should. Do drywall here. And then we'll make a path down here. Now they're probably going to stress out a bit being out in space. <laughs> but we got that airlock protecting things a little bit. And we're getting drywall in there. Oh, we got liquid CO2. It's cold in there. It's freezing. Get drywall here. This is eating up a lot of materials, but... I kind of wanted to see what was out here. I guess it's safe to go right to the door. We're not going outside. I mean, inside. Okay, nice. Nice set of oxygen here. Now they're not freaking out as much. A 
I messed up my valve here. Let's actually use this valve properly, so I'll disconnect that. And then bend around here like that. That way we can turn it off once it's all pressurized in here. We don't want it to get too warm in here because then our sleet wheat won't grow. I haven't messed with messed up or messed around with their schedule at all. Downtime. Could give them a bit more downtime. Could give them more bath time as well. Don't think they really need it though. There hasn't been any issues. I should probably start pumping the water out of here. But we'll need a filter. Let's let's let them get through this first. Some muckroot in there. Doesn't seem to be rotting. I haven't really gone in here much. Actually, yeah, I have. Is everything accessible? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, I'm not sure about this one. Oh, or that one. Not much pressure in here. Hmm. Let's get a ladder up there. Free food in nature. Okay, this water is going to run out eventually. We're going to have to tap into this. But it's too hot up here. I might have to drain this out. So if we cut a hole here... Where can, where can we drain this without killing plants? We could make a big pool right here. Oh, some plants right here. Hmm. Is there sleep sleeping right here too? Where's the plant? That's weird. It's like pop, pop to the side. We're kind of out of time though, so I think I'm going to wrap this episode up. Let me know if you have any plans, any ideas for how I deal with all this. We could cool it down. We could cool it down with some ice. We could vent some of the oxygen out into space, but we might lose our water. We could send some dupes in there and burn them to death. Yeah, let me know in a comment. I'm joking about burning them to death, though. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.